Good afternoon, sir. My name is Wesley Weasel, and I am the insurance adjuster sent out to inspect the hail damage to the brick on your home. Oh, great. I am really glad you could make it. We had golf ball to baseball size hail hitting our home. The brick now has little chips all over it, and my realtor says that the resale value of our home is going to be affected by this eyesore. If you'll look closely, you'll see all the little chips caused by these hailstones. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. I am sure that I will. Let me take a gander. So, are you saying that all of the chips on this brick are from hail damage? Oh, gosh, now, I am sure that before the hailstorm, there were small chips here and there, but now there are dozens, maybe hundreds, and I am really worried about the resale value of my home. Well, let's take a look up under here. You see these chips? There is no way that hail could have caused these chips way up under here. I am sorry, sir, but this is just not hail damage. I am going to have to report back that this was pre-existing damage. I am sorry. Sir, I agree that hail could not have chipped any of the brick way up under there, but I am not making a claim for that damage. All of the damage that I have been showing you has been right out in the open. Why do you keep pointing out and photographing only the damage that could not have possibly been caused by hail? All right, son. Well, maybe you can explain how the brick mortar got into this chip right here. This chip has obviously been here since the brick was installed. Otherwise, how would the mortar be inside the chipped area? Well, you make a good point. That chip has obviously been here since the day the brick was installed. But just while I've been standing here, I have counted over 50 chips in the brick, and only two of them have had mortar in them. As I said before, I am not making a claim for the few chips here and there that may have been done during the construction of the home. I am making a claim for the hundreds of fresh chips all over the outside of my home. Please, stop taking pictures of only the chips under covered areas and with mortar in them. Please, take pictures of the chips that are actually hail damage. Sir, if these chips were caused by hail, maybe you can explain to me how all of the windows in your home did not get broken. I'm sorry, but if something as hard as brick is going to be damaged, then the other damages to your home would be a whole lot worse. Actually, I am glad you asked. I just happen to work for a brick manufacturer. Although brick is very hard, in many instances, it is also brittle. Aggregates that are added to the brick during the manufacturing process often settle really close to the surface of the brick. When this happens, it makes that small area of the surface more susceptible to chipping. If you will look closely right in the middle of many of the chips, you will see the remnants of a small, round, pebble-like object. That is the impurity that made the brick weaker in that area and made it more susceptible to chipping. Under normal weather conditions, these weakened areas of the brick 
may have never come into contact with anything to cause it to chip. But during a hailstorm, thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of chunks of ice are hurled at the brick walls. When this happens, every single square inch of the surface area of these brick walls are tested. And it is likely that any weak area on the surface of these bricks will result in a chip. Okay, well, I appreciate you meeting with me, sir. I think that I have everything that I need for the insurance company to make its decision. Wait a minute. You have taken hardly any photos of the hail-damaged brick. Most of your photos are of the areas of the brick that could not have possibly been damaged by hail. Why would you want to take a bunch of pictures of damages that aren't covered by insurance? Sir, I thought you were here to document the hail damage to my home. But since you have arrived, you have done nothing but photograph some rotten wood, wear and tear on other items, and other damages that are not covered under my policy. Why won't you just stick to documenting the hail damage? Sir, I am sorry. I just do not believe that there is anything that we are going to be able to do for you. But it is not my decision. Actually, it is, but I'm not going to admit that to you. I will forward my paperwork on to the company and they will be in touch with you in a few weeks with their decision. Best of luck to you, sir. Well, I think that I've given you every opportunity to do the right thing. I will be contacting a public insurance adjuster to represent me. I am sure that you will be hearing from them soon. Best of luck. Thank you.